Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to look at making a dynamic form. So here I've got, we're just in my local message plugin that we've been creating, um, but this applies to any any kind of data in Moodle, uh, where you have something like this, we have multiple rows of data. So basically what I want to do is make a new form that can perform a bulk action on multiple messages at once. Because if you see now, if we just say edit one of these, this form is is good, it's a form, but it's only going to affect that one message. We've got a message ID there. But what if I wanted to, for example, change, so a message in this case can have a type. What if I wanted to change the type of, you know, of all of these? Imagine if there was many more messages here. So what you can do is have a new form that can take a dynamic amount of elements and say in this case I want to display a list of all the messages with a checkbox next to each of them and then select the ones I want and then perform an action on those say change the type or delete so right now I can delete uh, any I can delete one but I can't delete all of them at once. I have to delete them one at a time. So that's a bit slow. So let's go through and make a bulk edit form that can perform those actions, change the type and delete uh, across multiple so we can select them. So I basically want to make a new page called bulk edit with a new form called bulk edit as well. So the page and the form is the same name. I mean, they could be different though. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to copy and paste that edit page for now. And let's change that to bulk edit. That's going to be our new form. Uh, our URL is bulk edit. Okay, and this is all going to be different, so I might put that over there. This is going to be where we process the form when it's already submitted. I'm just going to comment out the redirect so we don't leave the page while we figure that function out. We're not editing a single message, so we can get rid of that. Um, and so we're not actually processing the form yet. I just want to display the form first and then we can work on processing it. Uh, we could probably leave this like manage messages capability and stuff so that's probably okay. Let's set the title to bulk edit. Alright and now let's go and actually create the form itself so I'm just going to copy and paste that one as well. That's pretty nice. So we'll call it bulk edit and in here what do we need to do? Well, we need to add all our, I mean, this is re really the key. We need to add all the messages here to the form. So first we need to, well, let's just display some other basic elements like the action buttons is good. We do want to change the type. So this is good. Actually, we do want this select here. Um, what we want as well is probably a title before we display. So here I want to display display the list of messages with a checkbox. Before that I want to do, uh, there's an element called static I think. This is what I usually do, like in Moodle there's many forms everywhere. So one way to easily kind of check the syntax and stuff, I search the code base and see that? I find another one that's done static. And I just look at it just to see the, um, the just, just the syntax and, and kind of how they've done it. So yeah, it's static like that. Looks like the next one is just like the name. So we can say, here, I just want to put some text before. So I want to say something like, choose your messages. Okay, get rid of that. This is like the name of it, so if I like choose messages or something. We could also do a delete 
one. I mean, let's just load it as it is now anyway. So remember, edit is this file. We're going directly to local message edit.php. That's right here. Edit.php then creates or instantiates that particular edit class, that edit form, and displays it. So we're going to go instead to, and we don't need this, bulk edit. Okay. Class bulk edit not found. Okay. But at least, you know, we're, we're hitting here. Yeah, it's not found because we have to import it. We need to actually say use that bulk edit. We don't need edit. We only need the bulk edit form. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so now we're displaying our form. Great. So let's also put a, I think it's called checkbox, advanced checkbox. Yeah. So again, see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of looking at some other random form, how they've done it. I'm just going to copy and paste that and then fix it to what I want. I want it to be delete all. I think this is just like the label, delete all selected question mark yes uh, let's see what that does yeah that's what I want to see so like oh yeah so and I don't want to change the type I just want to delete all selected instead so you could do that but we haven't actually displayed any messages yet so let's do that as well so we go in here we go how do we get all messages well probably use our manager it's nice to not actually have to query the database directly. We don't need this global. We can use our manager class. We can import that from our local, use local message manager. Nice. Um, yeah, so I don't want to have to really do global DB and go directly to the DB here. We got our nice manager to do it for us. Now we have get we have get messages and get message, but get messages is for a single user. So I think we need another function. We need another function, get all messages. So that's a bit, our naming is not that great here, but we'll just deal with that for now. We don't need any of this stuff, I don't think. Because this is a pretty simple call. All we want to do here is basically just say get records and then it's our table. Local message. Uh, that's probably it. Just format that properly. Get records. Local message. Yeah. Get all messages. All right, so we get all our messages. Now, let's add them to the form for each messages as message. Basically, it's gonna be a checkbox. Now, here's the name of the, of the message. So this needs to be dynamic. So it can be something like message ID concatenate with message ID because this is the object of that row of the database. Um, so for example, if we look, yeah, here, so see each message is gonna have ID, message, text, message type. So the label should probably, and I don't think we need this probably, but the label can be something like message, message text. Okay, let's see how that looks. And I think that's looking pretty good for our bulk edit page. You know what I don't like? I want to have a title here as well. Because on the manage page we have a title, a heading. Yeah, let's set a heading on bulk edit. Bulk heading. I think heading can be something like, you know, bulk edit your messages. Yeah, put that in there. That's pretty cool. We can cancel. We go back to manage. That's because of this. We already got that kind of go back to manage 
logic there. 